it's here. It has arrived. Within this box are the contents that I have been searching for for several months. Been waiting, biding my time. I came across, pulled the trigger. We're good to go. Uh, I've been collecting pops that are signed recently. I've been collecting a lot of signatures. Um, but I like the pops because I can store, like right here, in something that's just a little bit bigger than this, a space just a little bit bigger than this box, I have six signed pops. You know, whereas if this was a, like look at that thing, look how big that thing is. I love it, I love it, but look how big it is. So the pops are kind of cool because they're uniform. So like you could get action figures and things like that. Not everything has an action figure. Um, and action figure cases aren't always the same. NECA cases aren't always the same. So I like the pops for this. I think they're kind of cool looking and yeah. So I wanted this for a while. I missed out on it. Um, I missed out on getting it, uh, once and, huh, I missed out on getting it a few other times after that. I think all told, I looked at it a cup. I, I didn't even know. I bid on one a while back. I lost it. Um, so when these came around, I said, you know what? I'm not losing these again. Packed extremely well. I got these from Pristine Auctions. Now, Pristine Auctions is primarily a sports memorabilia site, but they do have quite a bit of um, pops and things of that nature um, for, from pop culture, movies, and things like that. But their bread and butter is pretty much... Um, uh, their bread and butter is sports autographs. I just saw the first one. It's not the one I want to show first. So I'm going to open this one first. Uh, these are from the same person. A little bit of a backstory. When I was younger, um, I spent a lot of time with my grandpa. My uh, birth mother peaced out when we were pretty young. And my grandparents took care of us. Uh, quite a bit, you know, while my dad worked and stuff. And so, um, I spent a lot of time with my grandpa. My grandpa loved watching old TV. And he had a few favorite shows. Oh my gosh. And, um, one of his favorites starred the person that I'm about to show you. I got two. I bid on two of these auctions because... Um, I just thought, you know what, I might not win the one, I might not win this first one, so I'm like, let me bid on this second one. I wound up winning both. I could, I could sell it somewhere down the line, but you know what, honestly, I'm probably going to keep them both. Here we go. This is a grail. If you're following along, you probably know. I got... Goldblum. I got Jackman. I got Levi. There's two names left. And it ain't Spielberg. But if I find Spielberg on a pop, I'm, I'm, I may be willing to drop uh, a decent amount of money for it. I need you to... Yes, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Carl from Up, signed by Ed Asner. Now you see all of this. When Ed Asner, if you sent something away, Ed Asner would sign it before he passed away. Um, he would sign stuff for people um, if they sent it to him. If you sent something to him, more often than not, I'll show you the other one. You know, this is, I love this. Um, more often than not, he wasn't just going to sign his name. Um, he was just a really cool dude. And so he would sign them. Um, with stuff. So this says, Hey, I need bail money. 
so put up or forget it. This place stinks and out with it. This stinks and out with it if you get out of this stink hole. I, I can't fully, fully read it, but yeah. So he would just write random stuff, buddy. Ah, cats! He would just like write these random, silly, nonsensical things on people's pops when they sent them to him um, because he was just a, an absolute legend. So I got the, this is the remix. Um, they have several of these. They're uh, the aliens from Toy Story remixed with various different Pixar characters. Um, you can get Dory, Buzz Lightyear, Doug, Russell, Woody, and obviously Carl from Up, signed by Ed Asner. These are JSA authenticated, James Spence authentication. From what I'm told, he is the world leader in third-party authentications. Um, well, no, let's see. I believe it's James Spence. Yeah, James Spence. So there's the certificate of authenticity. Um, these are going to go into, um, I'm going to get some premium protectors for these guys. I've got nice hard covers for most of my pops. I think, especially since this is signed in, they're both signed in Sharpie, which means they're going to fade probably pretty quickly if I don't take care of them. Um, yeah, I spent a lot of money on these, but honestly, like for sentimental reasons, I am, I'm so, um, yeah, uh, yeah, these are really cool. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's my, that's my grail. Um, next up would have to be Spielberg would, it would be like the one that I really, really want. Um, I'm probably going to take, I'm not going to get too into it now that I've got the three that I wanted, um, Goldblum and Hugh Jackman. I may still look for a Goldblum Jurassic Park, uh, cause I have Independence Day and I would prefer Jurassic Park. Um, if that's the case, then I'd probably would sell the Independence Day one if I could get rid of it or trade it. Maybe I could trade for somebody for the, I don't know. I don't know who would trade Jeff Goldblum. Jurassic Park for Independence Day. But if somebody's out there, uh, yeah. Gosh, this is, yeah. Um, these are really cool. I'm so happy. Um, yeah. Ed Asner, man, you were a legend. Rest in peace, my friend. Um, nobody did it quite as well as you did. Uh, say hi to my grandpa up there for me. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, cool. All right. Uh, I have, um, I have a couple OC celebrity marketing Hollywood five boxes coming and I'm told that the BAM extinct boxes are starting to send. So starting to ship. So might have more to show soon. Until then, thank you guys. I appreciate you. Um, yeah, so. All right, talk to you later. Bye.